can't tell Bobby I said this, but he's gonna have to really up his game if we're gonna save the Snood Candy Factory from Mighty Mila. We're currently inside the factory, and she's got her hands on a very important lever. If she pulls it all the way to 11, the whole place will explode. But one has to ask oneself, why would Mr. Snood install a lever that goes to 11? I mean, <laughs> isn't 10 the maximum lever number? Everyone knows that. Serious flaw that makes me wonder if Mr. Snood got the correct permits to build the factory in the first place. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Come on, there's no time to waste. If we don't hurry, the whole candy factory will be blown to smithereens. There has to be a way to stop Mighty Mila. What we need is a good old-fashioned diversion. Coming right up! <laughs> Don't hurt yourself there, little guy. Those are some pretty wild dance moves, but check this out. What are you two bozos doing over there? Keep dancing. We got our attention. Dancing way better than you ever could. <laughs> You look like two morons who can't dance at all. I'll show you how it's done. It's working. I'll keep dancing. You sneak over there and push the lever back down. Lock it in place and take the super secret key. Aye, aye, El Capitan. This is how you do it. You gotta move your hips in a giant circle and swing your arms all over the place like a monkey and throw your head back. Like this? No, not like that. Swing those hips, Slabstack. Like this. Tight quarters in here. I better not fly. I'll have to climb up this ladder. Oh, great. It's a giant vat of snood flues. How am I going to get across? Hey, where'd Bobby Bowling Ball Head go? Um, uh, bomb fuzzle. You can't fool me that easily. Bobby oh, Wonder! Oh, 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 oh! You'll never get to the lever before I do. Have fun swimming through a vat full of snood flues. That mighty Mila. Oh, she's got some serious dance moves. Impressive. Hurry, Bobby, the jig is up. Well, shoot. I think the only way out of this mess is going to be flying. Also, I'm sinking, so that can't be good. I'm all the way up to my neck in this gooey stuff. Ugh. Time to rock and roll. What an airhead. I'm coming in hot! Like a blowtorch. Oh, this should be interesting. No! Lock it down, Bobby! And throw me the key! We did it! You two are becoming a real bummer, you know that? But just you wait, Bobby Baloney. I'll have the last laugh. For now, I think I'll go back to my secret lair and take a nap. Mighty Mila feels nappy. Oh, yeah. This should hold me over for at least a month. No more bum fuzzles for me. I'm glad I could be helpful, but please stop licking my leg. It's weird. You've ruined an entire batch of snood flues. It's completely kid contaminated, you bozos. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We saved your factory. Hand over the key and move it along, Wonder Boy. I've had about enough kids around here to last me a thousand years. Also, Grab Stack is attacking your leg in case you weren't aware. No problem. I gotta get home for lunch anyways. Let us know if Mighty Mila gives you any more trouble, and we'll fly right over. I'm installing a whole new security system. Have to keep these pesky kids away from the flus at all costs. And guard dogs, yeah, and a fence. Some people really don't appreciate it when someone saves their factory. So rude. Nah, it's fine. We don't do it for the fans, Grab Stack. We do it for the adventure. We do? Well, sure. I haven't had this much fun in my whole life. Come on, let's fly back home and get some bananas and sandwiches and then figure out our next move. Righto, Bobby. Well, 
Welcome back, kiddos. While you were gone, we jetted away from the Snood Candy Factory as Mr. Snood yelled at us to never come back. You're welcome, Mr. Cranky Pants. I have a feeling we'll see him again in due time. But for now, we leave him to fend for himself as we fly over the wonderful world of Lunarville. Mr. Cranky Pants, good one, Grabstack. Say, let's fly over that way and take a different route home. I'd like to get a closer look at my domain. Your domain? Oh, brother. This superhero stuff's really gonna do your head. Hey, I'm two for two with Mighty Mila. Apparently, I was born to do this. Hey, keep your feet on the ground there, Flyboy. Things can turn in an instant. Trust me, I've seen it happen. You know, I was killing it with my one-man show on floor. Then I slipped on a banana peel and it was all downhill from there. Uh, it's called a banana, not a blanana. Uh, not on floor. On floor, a banana is a blanana. And an apple is a flapple. A marshmallow is a flarshmarfler. Flarfler. A farce flarfler? A farce marfler. Flarshmarfman? Um, no. Nice try. <clears throat> a Flarsh Marfler. <laughs> you, you really need to work on your floor. Oh, look at that. What's down there? I see a bunch of houses, some buildings, and a red barn. And smoke coming out of the red barn. Oh, this looks like an emergency. We better get down there pronto. Hey, I think that was my best landing yet. Grab stack? Help! A pin by a giant bicycle wheel! Don't you worry, little buddy. I'll save you. Hey, why are you throwing all my stuff everywhere? I had to all organize some neat piles of junk. I'm trying to find my friend. He fell out of his pouch when I crash landed into your pile of junk. I've only barely met you, and I'm already intrigued. Your little buddy must be tiny. Oh, yeah, he is. Also, I'm Bobby. Bobby Wonder. Hey, that's cool. I have a name like that, too. Mine's Lucy Wow. Cool. Hey, I wonder if we might do these introductions after you get this bicycle wheel off my spleen. <laughs> spleen? What's a spleen? What's a spleen? Oh, kids these days, no appreciation for anatomy. See, the spleen sits right next to your stomach and it has a very important job. It's like a recycling plant for your blood. Mine is currently pinned under a bicycle wheel. Cool, I like spleens. Hey, could you help me find Grabstack? That's his name, by the way, Grabstack. He's from another planet. This just gets weirder and weirder. I love it. <laughs> Let the search party commence. Hey, look! Did you find him? No, but I found this nifty gearbox I can use to finish Robozuki. Robozuki? In case you've all forgotten, I'm still pinned under a bicycle wheel! So, does your little buddy have red shoes and a green sweater? And a head shaped like an egg? And really big eyes? And funny little hamster hands? <laughs> Those are funny little hands. Oh. That's him, yeah! Oh, note to self, next time I need rescuing, do not call Bobby Wonder or Lucy Wow. You okay, Grabstack? Amazingly, it appears that I am unharmed. Please place me back in my pouch and stop crash landing into piles of junk. No problem. Hey, want to see inside the barn? It's where I built all sorts of fun stuff, like Robozuki. Uh, is everything okay in there? We flew down here because we saw smoke and thought maybe there was a fire. Nah, I was just blowing stuff up. <laughs> Happens all the time while I'm inventing new things. Curious, you know, <laughs> what sorts of things do you make? I could really use a megaphone that'll fit in my tiny hamster hands in the event that I ever get pinned under a bicycle tire again. You know, it could happen. Hmm, noted. I don't have one of those, but I'll put it on the list of things to invent. No, oh, I like this, Lucy. Well, she's my kind of helpy helper. Lead the way, Lucy. We'd love to see you inside the barn. If it's anything like this junk pile, I'm sure it's really cool. Yeah, so let me get this straight. You can fly? Uh-huh. Also, I'm indestructible. You could drop a refrigerator on my head, and I wouldn't even feel it. Oh, let's try that! Where have you been all my life? <laughs> <laughs> That's Kapow, my mechanical pygmy go. Kapow, well... <laughs> I guess you could say Kapow's my best friend. Well, you got two more friends now. 
Hi, Kapow. <laughs> it's a banner day in the friend department. I'm currently working on a contraption that will make Kapow talk. You really are, Lucy. Wow. Why, thank you. So, how exactly did you get these powers anyway? Oh, we're not going through this again. I'm an alien, blah 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 blah. I'm here to protect Pflugerville from Mighty Mila, blah 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 blah. Oh, it's quite a story you've got there, Bobby Wonder. I bet you could use a little help, and since we're pals now, which, by the way, I'm very glad about, how about I finish up my latest invention and give it to you? Oh, I think it could be a lot of help in your goal to stop Mighty Mila. That would be great. Is it a laser beam? No, wait. It's an invisibility shield. Oh, I've always wanted one of those. Walk with me. My moms run a little shop where they make old stuff and make it new. And they let me take whatever I want. <laughs> They're great. Unfortunately, I haven't found any other kids like me. I'm a little bit of what you call a, uh, <clears throat> loner. Ah, hey, so am I. Well, except I have grab stack, but that's only been for, oh, oh, let's see. 171 minutes and 12 seconds. Right. And even though I've only known Lucy Wow for... Seven minutes and 21 seconds. Right. Even though I've only known you for about seven minutes, I think we're going to be great friends. I love what you do. I think you may be right, Bobby Wonder. And to commemorate our meeting, here's the gift I have for you that will help you beat Mighty Mila. <clears throat> Robo Zuki! Cool. A two-foot-tall robot with one giant eyeball. This is great! Does it talk? Hang on, I just need to install this gearbox we found in the junk pile into its chest. I am Robozuki, ruler of all time, space, and dimension. Um, that's weird. I, I didn't program Robozuki to say or think anything. What? Uh, anyway, Robozuki has a jetpack. I built that too, so he can fly right out of here with you and Grabstack. I'm not so sure about this, Bobby. Uh-oh, sounds like my sidekick is worried he's getting replaced. I am not. Well, I'm not one to refuse a gift for my brand new friend. Thanks, Lucy. Robozuki will fit right in on our team, and so will you. You never know when Bobby Wonder might need some help. Come on over anytime, and I'll build you whatever you need. I can be your gadget factory. Sweet! Oh, now where did I put that pencil? I'm always losing my pencil. <laughs> Robozuki's eyeball is a tractor beam. Looks like you found your pencil, Grabstack. <laughs> it's stuck to his eyeball. Here you go. Oh, fantastic. Okay, the robot can stay. Oh, team awesome all the way. We have a gadget maker and a Robozuki with a tractor beam. This is great. I can't wait to see Mighty Mila stuck to Robozuki's eyeball. Priceless. Well, Lucy Wow, we have to get back to my place for some bananas and sandwiches. Uh, I think it's called a banana. Long story. Also, a marshmallow is a flamarshfler. Uh, no, it's a flarshmarfler. We've talked about this, Bobby. <laughs> you two are wacky. I love it. Me too. See you soon. Come on, Robozuki. Let's fly. I am Robozuki, ruler of all time, space, and dimension. Oops. Robozuki went in the opposite direction as Bobby Wonder. Well, maybe I should have mentioned to Bobby that my inventions generally don't work the first time out, and sometimes they go off on their own and do whatever they want. Oh, Robozuki, come back! Will Robozuki use his tractor beam eyeball to make mischief all over Pflugerville? Probably. Does Bobby Wonder now have two villains to deal with? Almost certainly, but at least we're getting bananas and flash marflers for lunch, so there's a bright side. Oh, I can hardly wait for episode four. Can you? Oh, and if you liked Lucy Wow, she has her own show. Just search for Lucy Wow or Go Kid Go and you'll find your way. Now, <clears throat> where to put that pencil? Oh no, and my shoe is missing. Oh, I could really use Robozuki right about now. This is a <laughs> disaster.
If you enjoyed this podcast, please give us a five-star rating and review, and be sure and tell your friends. Go, kid, go. Go. 